Today I'd like to introduce a few founding colonies of the very infamous and highly invasive fire ants. I told myself that I would never ever keep these guys ever again because they're just highly invasive, they're all over the place, and I can't ever find any other native queen here in Texas for, from any other species. But I thought, hey, there are a couple people in other states that don't ever have to deal with them, and they're curious about what fire ants are like, what it's like to keep them, and so I thought I'd just make a little documentary of, um, you know, a founding colony that I've caught in, you know, my parking lot. Um, I have about three queens each in four test tubes, and right now they've laid a good clutch of eggs. You can see a queen here in the background protecting her clutch of eggs in her jaws. Um, I've noticed that the queens kind of have their own colony personality, if you can call it that. Like these set of queens. Whenever I shine a light at them or they sense the slightest disturbance, they'll run around frantically, they'll step all over their eggs, you know, and they'll scatter them accidentally and then they'll just rush in a, like in the frantic frenzy to just quickly pick up their eggs and bunch them back together like they're doing now. Um, whereas these set of queens, they're a lot more relaxed and a lot more docile. I can shine all the light I want at them, I can pick up their test tube and turn them around to see how many eggs they've laid and they're pretty much, they, they don't seem to mind. They're pretty relaxed, they're really chill. And I notice that usually colonies that are more relaxed are a lot more successful and they do better than colonies that are more frantic. I'm assuming the colonies that are more frantic, they get stressed out a little more, the queens start dying and they just don't do well. So that's just my theory based on my experience. This colony right here, actually, I've, I'm able to take out the cotton that's uh, on their test tube and I put the test tube in front of my camera so that I can get a good macro shot and they just don't seem to be bothered whatsoever. Fire ants are polygynous, meaning that they can have multiple queens per colony, but they can also do well off of just one queen. Um, I'm gonna have a bunch of fire ants in a couple months, so... I'm gonna probably have to get rid of some of them, unfortunately. I would hate to do that, but they're just so highly invasive. I have no plans on releasing them out back into the wild. So far, all of the founding colonies seem to have laid a very, very good amount of eggs, but I haven't noticed any larvae yet. So, when whenever they get their first uh, Nancic workers, they'll actually have a very good amount of workers to begin with, so I'm gonna have to hurry up and find a, um, a founding form of for them so they'll have a lot more room to forage and grow. Well, that's it for now. Um, I hope you guys liked the video. This is my first time narrating a video, um, so I really hope you guys don't mind me uh, talking. I was, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not sure what to do, what to say. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I, I'm gonna keep updating you guys if anything new happens or whenever they get their first workers within the, the next month or so. Uh, but yeah, until then, I'll just see you in the next video. And if you guys like this video, I'll, I'll continue to produce more videos and uh, I'll work on the content I create. I'll get better with the editing. And uh, yeah, like I said, if I get positive feedback from you guys, I'll continue to keep doing this. All right, so until next time. Oh, and uh, before I forget, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. <laughs>